Hello and welcome to the Foundry Furnace Core Tutorial for a line. A line lines up and composites two shots. If a line takes two sequences that were shot at the same scene from similar camera angles and aligns them spatially. A line uses global motion estimation or GME to calculate a corner pin or DVE move so that each frame in the source input will be repositioned to line up with the corresponding frame in the second shot which is the reference input. It is also important to note that there must be some degree of overlap and continuity between the two shots that are going to be aligned. So you can't align a shot that's from an outdoor scene to an indoor scene because there is nothing for the actual node to calculate a corner pin to and match up between the two shots. If we look at this render, you can see on the left hand side we have the two shots composited using a merge node with a simple over, and on the right hand side we have the two shots composited using the align node. Now you can see the obvious difference between the two shots. Let's take a look at how to do this within Nuke. For more information on GME, please refer back to the Furnace Core introductory tutorial. Before we begin the tutorial, you should have downloaded the relevant scripts and image sequences for the Align tutorial from the Foundry website. Once you have done this, please open the Start Here script and we can begin. When you open the Start Here script, you'll find we have two image sequences. We have Model Right and we have Model Left. Now we're going to be aligning Model Right to the spatial coordinates of Model Left. Let's bring up the F-Align node. Select the image sequence model right and I'm going to be hitting tab and using these shortcuts. You can bring up the node whichever way you feel comfortable. So an F align. Once you bring up the node, you will notice that on the on-screen viewer you will have a widget and a warning banner. Now we'll explain those in a minute. The align node has two inputs, a source input which we have already attached to model right and we also have a reference input which will be attached to model left. It is important to note that the source input is adjusted so it matches the coordinates of the reference image so whatever goes into the source is matched up to the reference in and out. Once you've connected the sequences to both the inputs you will see that the plugin has already shifted the frame into alignment we can see the results of this if we hit play on the timeline view. So I'll go ahead and do this. In order to calculate the alignment, the plugin identifies features in the source image contained within the analysis region and tries to find them in the reference image. This analysis region is represented by this widget on screen and also the coordinates of this analysis region are represented within the properties tab under analysis region. Now once the algorithm has worked out where they are it can calculate how to move the source image to match them up with the reference image. If you look on the viewer we can see that the frames have already been aligned and this is where we have this black area over here. If we stop the footage and look at the actual source input we can see that the analysis region has actually taken into account a lot of the blue screen area and a lot of the background features as well so they can line up with the reference input over here. If we look through our source input and our align, we can see the result of this black area over here is through the alignment of the two shots together. Now it is important there is a degree of overlap between the source image and the reference image. If the features of the source image you're using to align are outside of the analysis window in the reference image, the plugin will have problems aligning the two shots together. In most cases, the defaults for this region will work well. However, if you have moving objects or a great deal of discontinuity between the source input and the reference shot, you might want to adjust it to ignore areas that could confuse the process. The plugin can calculate the alignment on the fly, but as you may have noticed at home, this can be quite a slow process. Now, along with the other global motion based plugins in Furnace Core, FLine provides a mechanism 
for you to pre-analyze the motion of the sequence yourself and to bake out the resulting corner pin to keyframe attributes which can be found and stored in advanced for corner pin. Now the advantage of this is that it saves you continually recalculating the motion and you can allow you to use the corner pin information for other purposes. The banner you see on the screen over here is warning you that this analysis phase hasn't been performed yet and consequently the rendering will be somewhat slower. Let's do this now. To run the analysis pass we simply click on the analyze button. Let's just hit stop on the timeline and go back to frame 1 and we'll hit analyze. Now, Nuke will then step through your clip and save in the alignment as it goes. By default, this analysis will go through the whole length of the source clip and you can choose to analyze just the current frame or a one of frame or even a region of the source clip and you can discard any existing analysis with the simple option of pressing the clear analysis button which throws away all of the keyframes. Now that's finished actually analyzing, we can see the results that we have. Now to see exactly how closely the two clips have been aligned, we need to attach a merge node to the script. Now I'm pressing M on the hotkey list and bring up a merge node. Now we need to attach the B input to the align node and we touch the A input to the model left sequence. And we can view the results by pressing 1. If we render the sequence out now, we can see the exact results of using the align node. If we play through the render, we can see that the two shots have been reasonably well aligned, but if we look just a little closer, you can see there are some areas where the backdrop doesn't quite line up with itself. To fix this, we have to go back into Nuke. 